Hi, this is Mike, and in this tutorial I'm going to go over grid and guidelines. We will be using these in an upcoming tutorial, so I wanted to briefly go over them today. So the first thing that I wanted to go over was grid. Now you can use a grid to create shapes or to align things on the mat. So let me show you this. If you look over on the document panel, and I have that highlighted with the white sheet of paper on the top right, if I click on show grid, you'll see that my grid appears. And I have over here on the document panel, I have grid lines that currently are set at four inches and then subdivisions are at three. So let's zoom in here a little bit so that you can see this. So what that means, and it might be hard to see in the video, but at at the grid lines, this is your major line. So these are going to be a little bit darker. So you'll see at the four inch mark horizontally and down here, and then vertically up at the top, you'll see that they're a little bit darker. And then the subdivisions are the minor lines and they are a little bit lighter. So we can definitely adjust those depending on the needs. So if I was to increase this to, let's just say 4.5 inches, you'll see now that my major lines have moved to 4.5, but my subdivisions have stayed at three. So basically it's going to divide however many, so 4.5 divided by three. So it's going to divide the top number by the bottom number, and that's going to be the spaces here. That's going to determine the amount of space here. So if I make the subdivisions six, you're going to see that now there are six of these squares within that four and a half inch guideline or grid line, I'm sorry. So if I do that, move that to six, let's move this to six. So if I move that to six, so six divided by six is one. So each of these squares is going to be one inch squares. So that is how that works. So the second thing that I want to show you is snap to grid. So if I go up here to view and snap to, you're going to want to make sure that grid is checked. If not, you are going to check that. And let's create a shape. We're just going to make a rectangle here. So we're going to go ahead and snap this and it might be hard to see in the video. Let me zoom this in a little bit further. When you get close to one of those lines, it's going to snap into place. See how it just did that? It's going to snap into place. So that is what it means by snap to. All right. So now let's go over to guidelines. So I'm going to turn off my grid and I have show guidelines turned on. Now let's zoom out a little bit so that you guys can see. So there's a couple different ways to add a guideline. And I can either take my pointer and go onto the ruler, either on the left or the top, and I can just drag some guidelines down. Now that's the easiest way. However, you're gonna notice that you might not always get it exactly where you need it to be. So I will show you how to correct that in a second. All right, so that is the guidelines. So I'm going to show you how to move these. So basically, if you click in the ruler area, you can actually move these to where another spot, so to speak. So I know, let me zoom in here so that you can see these a little bit better. So you're going to want to go up to the ruler and you can drag these and change them. All right, so let's go back to the entire mat and now let's go to edit so again I just need to click my document panel and I'm gonna to go to edit and you're gonna see all of the lines that I created have some numbers here in the left hand side and you'll notice on the little guideline window to the right 
I can select horizontal or vertical. So let's start with the ones that I already made. So for the horizontal lines, you're always going to look at the number in the Y value, which is the second number here. So if I were to change this Y value, it's right now, it says 6.45. So it rounds up. If you look down here, it's 6.448. So it rounded up. If I wanted to move this, let's just say I wanted to move this to the seven inch. You'll see this is the lower line on the left here. Let me change the color and you guys can see it. Let's make it red and modify. You'll see now that it turned red. So if I wanted to move that down to seven inches, I just can click seven and I can click modify and you'll see that it moves down to the seven inch. All right, likewise to this one, this one's at point or minus 0 0.02. So this one's way up at the top. So again, we're only, when you're working on horizontal, you're only working on the Y value. It doesn't really matter what the X value is because it's going to go across the entire uh, mat or canvas anyhow, and I'll show you that here. So let's make this zero, which is X, and you'll let's make this one inch, and let's change this to a different color so that we can see that. And if we click modify, you'll see that this is now at one inch, but it still goes across the entire document. And vertical is the same thing, except you're using the X value, which is the first number. So for example, this is at 9.398. If I move that to 10, let's change this to something different so that we can see it. Let's make this like a purple. And we click modify. You'll see now it is at 10 and it is my vertical line in the X value. Now you can also click, you can lock those so you wouldn't be able to move those at, from the top. You can hide them. So if I click on the visible button and modify, it temporarily hides them. I can click on visible and modify and it will add them. I can also go ahead and remove all horizontal and I can remove all vertical. And just the same, I could add them. If I wanted to add a vertical line at 10 inches, I could just bring up the window. Let's just close this. I could just bring this up by clicking the edit. And let's just say I wanted that at, a, let's say I wanted a vertical line at 10 inches. Then I'm gonna go ahead and click add. And you'll see that I have my vertical line at 10 inches. All right, so now let's say we wanted to put our horizontal line at three. We're going to change this to horizontal. The X we want zero, so the Y we will change to three, and we can click add, and now that adds it at three, and you see that represented in the window here. And again, you can snap to these guidelines just like we did the grid lines, just make sure view, snap to guidelines is selected, and again, it will snap once you get to that just like it did in the other example. So the last thing that I wanted to show you was view, show mat circles. And this is another type of guideline that you can use if you were using say a circular image. Let's just draw a circle here. And it pretty much works the same where you can, it'll snap for you. A little hard to see on these ones, but it does snap. And so if you wanted to use a circle, you could definitely use this as a guideline as well. All right, so I hope this was helpful and thanks for joining me today.